be as though as though they had not been. Right. So they gonna swallow down. They gonna be as though it's not been, man. Why? Because their rulership is not gonna compare to our rulership. It's, it's gonna be nothing, man. We, we're gonna have an everlasting kingdom, a perpetual rulership on the face of earth forever and ever, like the scripture tells you. Right. Verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Right. So there's gonna be holiness in Zion at the time, man. They ain't gonna be walking around with blind weed and purple weed, man. Right. There ain't no south side fades and damn gumbies that are died at the top, man. Right. Right. All that bullshit's gonna be cut out. Right. All right, ain't no more sleep with, with your friend's woman, all right? right? Stealing from your brother, murdering your brother, man. All that stuff is going to be cut out, man. We're going to be a holy people like we were in the beginning. Right. Right. Okay, the most high is going to separate us because we're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments written in our heart. Right. And that's how we're going to govern. That's right, right if brother. I can add something to that. Verse 17 says, but upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. So that's a cut to people saying that the Edomites can be saved and anybody else can be saved. Salvation is for Israel. That's what the scriptures talk about. That's right. That's all throughout right. from Genesis to Revelation, man. It's all scriptures. I don't know why it's so, well, we know why it's so hard, but it's, it's crazy. But that lets you know that there's a higher power on the earth, man, blocking you bonehead niggas from the truth. That's right, man. You got a spiritual wall over your eyes, man. Right. You know, and I just thank the most side of these brothers and myself, we have it, man. That's Lord right. willing, we can continue on. That's right. See this thing fall. That's right. Jake's still pushing that, and all you niggas pushing at the black woman, this guy bullshit, man. Y'all gonna be destroyed too, man. That's oh, right, brother. That's right. Sitting there with that on your head in the polo shirt, man. Ain't, ain't doing nothing edifying, man. Jake just still perpetuating a lot of bullshit. That's why a lot of our people are asleep, man. Still perpetuating the black woman is God, bro. And, and, and that fact, the, the fact that the uh, that a higher power is a is a female, hell no, man. The, the scriptures clearly cut you on that, man. That the Most High is a so-called black man. The Son is a so-called black man. And on what this sign says, man. That's right. Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. Right, so be not deceived, man. The Most High is not mocked. You can't get over on the Most High, man. That's right. Okay, if you think so, it's a demon deceiving you, deceiving you man. And you're going to catch him at that time, right? For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right, so whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. And what is, what is the so-called white man these other nations have sown, man? Chiefly a so-called white man. Nothing but pure wickedness. Death, destruction, rape, robbery, and murder, man. And he's he, and he continues seeing it's perpetuating it to this day. That's right. All right, he's taking everybody's resources. He's depressing everybody on the planet Earth. He's polluting the air. All right, we're just going to go down the list that we do all the time, man, because it needs to be talked about because it's a damn a disgrace, man. And a so-called white man has jacked up the whole Earth in his rulership. Okay? He's polluting the water, polluting the air, polluting the minds of the people, polluting everybody's spirits, making putting complete hell on everybody, even his own people. That shows what type of asshole he is. He puts hell on himself. He poisons himself, man. So that type of guy can't be in rulership. And that's all he's sown. That's also on, on the righteous side, too. If you continue to sow uh, righteousness and, and fight for the Heavenly Father, you're going to reap that, man. Lord with us. Verse 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. All right, and then that's what's pushed here. That's sowing to your flesh, man. Your fleshy desires, you know, just do it. Whatever makes you feel good, as long as you, you, you like it, they love it, you know? Nothing, no, there's no correction here, man. The law is slack. Everything's backwards. Yeah, everything, everything has been turned upside down uh, because of so-called white men. That's right. You know, women are over men. Uh, kids are ruling, ruling over their parents. Hell, I even seen the video. I sent it out. There was a damn cat barking like a damn dog, man. And then when the cat got caught by the person with the camera, they started meowing again. Everything is fucking backwards here. Oh, man. Uh, the, one, of the, one of the brothers sent out a, a yeah. picture. Yeah, that man, shit was... you had a damn stud in a punk in a, uh, in a relationship, man. She was the man, and this nigga was the woman, man. They straight, but it's just back, yeah. No, man, dog. That shit was back. This well, yeah. Right here, man. Wow. They've got one. Well, that technically, goes even but <laughs> they got one where it's that same situation, but the female that's acting like a dude is actually pregnant. So he's actually having a baby, but with a mustache. <laughs> with a, a, a whack goatee. So he's popping it. Yeah. Check that out. 
This is this is this is the product of America right here, man. It's, it's actually a male and female. That's but, male and female, but backwards, man. Reverse roles. That's fucking crazy. Splash of black culture. Yeah. Splash of black culture. Shit, matter of fact, this might hold. Yup. Yep. <laughs> This is Ecclesiastes chapter 23, verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. That's right, man. And that's all you people are thinking about, man. You just think about the people that can see you right now. Now take into account that the Heavenly Father will use so, so called give uh, credence to, saying that He created everything and you so called believe in the higher power, but you people walk around like He can't see y'all, man. You know? We read that one more time, bro. Huh. Verse 19, such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. All right, so even if your, your uh, most secret, nastiest activity, the most I have seen that, man. And you're going to get judged for everything, man. So for people to think they uh, can skate free on certain things, man, you got another thing coming. That's right, bro. Especially if you're still in that same mindset, the most is going to wake you up. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts, he knew all things ere ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. You can see everything, man. Both sides the creator of everything, man. He created, he put people on the earth. He made the earth to where it just floating in orbit around the sun, man. You don't think he can see y'all nasty asses, man? In some alley getting done in, or smoking crack or whatever it is you people doing, man. The most I see is all that. Even brothers in the truth, they, he, he sees all that, man. Huh. You know? Huh. Jeremiah 8 and 12. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Right. So that's what you're saying. Uh, they talking about the, uh, the people that are in darkness, our people. Like their past feeling. I mean, they don't, they don't feel bad, man. They don't have no remorse for, for their actions. No mm -hmm. godly sorrow. They just out there bad, man. Looking crazy as hell, doing whatever the hell they feel, uh, going off the vibration of the society. Whatever. Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, saith Yahweh. Right, so our people are going, two thirds of our people, man, are going to be utterly destroyed in that day, man. They're going to be cast down because they have no shame in what they're doing. Okay? It, people don't give a damn. Women just out here, like I said, we ran down this earth. They're just out here bad, man. Our people into every facet of the wickedness. They even over, overpass these of the wicked, scriptures say. That's right. So, and, and the people don't give a damn, man. That's okay, though, because in that day, the scriptures say, uh, in Psalms, that people shall be willing to bear our power. In that day, when they really see the, 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 the real Lord come back and crack them crowds, man, they're going to be willing to get right, but it's going to be too late at that point. Isaiah 24 and 5. Uh, start at the top. Okay. This is Isaiah 24 and 1. Behold, Yahweh maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people and so with the priest as with the servant so with his master as with the maid so with his her mistress and with the buyer so with the seller as with the lender so with the borrower as with the taker of usury so with the you the giver of usury to him All right so most of us uh turn everything upside down man why to fulfill prophecy the scriptures say he created he from the light and create darkness man and he created the wicked for the day of evil, so it just, this, this had to serve a purpose for Israel to go through that 360 degrees of knowledge and wisdom and understanding. All right, we had to go through all this hell to learn how to appreciate the kingdom, and, and we had to see how not to run a kingdom. The land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled, for Yahweh has spoken this word. The earth mourneth and faded away. The word languishes and faded away. Right, so the earth is morning, man. The earth is fading, man. There's a hole in the ozone layer. There's space trash. Uh, the seasons are all jacked up, man. The world the world is actually fading away. It's cursed because of the, the ruler, the rulership of it, man. That's right. The so-called white man is tearing everything up. Right. He's completely fucking the whole world up, man. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Right, the, the, the proud are languishing, the proud are languishing, man. Everybody's catching hell, man. The earth 
also is defiled under the, the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Right, so the earth is. is the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Right, so it's in, defiled under the inhabitants thereof, man. Chief, we start with the so-called white man because he's ruling right now. Yup. And then everybody else is following suit. You mean the way it's their oppressor, man. So now the earth is all jacked up. Everybody's glittering. Uh, every, all type of stuff is going on, man. The earth is totally destroyed. Go ahead. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Right, so they transgressed the laws, man. All right, so the most so-called white man took this Bible in their hand and called themselves Christians, so-called Christians. Mm -hmm. And now they, they broken all laws, man. There's, there's 613 law statutes commandments. They broke them. They broke all of them, man. Every Everything last one the of them. Everything the Bible said don't do, they did. Everything the Bible said do, they did. They broke everything. I get one <laughs> This is Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most I said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Right, so he's talking to the wicked, man. She can so-called white man. What are you doing putting my, my words and my laws in your in your possession, man? Hmm. Go ahead. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Right. Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my, my words behind thee when thou sawest a thief then thou uh, consented with uh, with him and, and has been partaker with adulterers. Seeing thou hatest instruction. Right, so the so-called white man hates instruction, man. Everybody said everything that we that's written in the scriptures, they do the complete opposite of, man. And they took the cover of mouth, why? Saying that they're a Jew. Those gutter rats over there in, uh, in Israel today, defiling our land. It's one of the biggest gay parades uh, ever in history. All right? Go ahead. And casts my word behind thee. Right, so they, and that's what they do, man. They cast the word behind. Them. All right, they, they swear in on the Bible when you're in court. And after that, like the brother always brings out, you judge, they judge to their own BS penal code, which they don't, need, they don't even follow that half the time. No, no. Yeah, they, they let you swear in the Bible, then they just go put that up. And then they declared the Bible, the so-called the Bible, the law of the land in 1983. But there's nothing, nothing that's being followed here. Then they're pretty much they're trying to debunk the Bible, man. They're saying it was written by man, they're pushing all this. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Right, so you've been partaking with, uh, uh, consenting with thieves, man. Why? Because you stole the whole damn uh, country. You stole the world, man. And you partake in adultery, but then you like to call it dating. It's adultery, man. <laughs> that's what it's flat out adultery, man. Every, it's, it's just a, that's why the scripture says this is an adultery generation, man. It's a whole bunch of people just sleeping around, man. Yup. Go ahead. Thou gavest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frame to deceit. You gave us the mouth to evil, and your and the tongue frame to deceit, man. And that's the so called white man to a T. And for all y'all that's saying Esau is not so-called white man is not Esau, man, you bugged out your mind, you crazy. That's right. White man has done everything that the, that the devil has spoken of and probably would do, man. Everything that the wicked has done, the white man has done it to a perfect team. And it's still doing a great job of it. He's going extra hard. Go ahead. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest the, uh, thy own mother's son. Right, and that, who was that? It's talking about Israel, man. Because the uh, so-called white man Esau is our fraternal twin. So that's all he does today is slander, slander his brother because he got the birthright and he's just trying to get that back. But in the spirit, he has just a perpetual hatred, man. And the so-called white man doesn't even, know, does he, doesn't even know why. It's a spiritual thing. Okay, he can't help it. He was made to be the wicked and he was made to, uh, to fulfill all these prophecies, man. It is what it is. Uh, we didn't make it up. We just follow We just follow the program according to the best of our ability. According to the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And, and it's true. That's right. It's true, man. The so-called white man is a devil, man. He he's a deceiver. That's right. He I lied to us. I mean, it, ask him to prove us wrong. Right. Ask him to ask him to show us how he is not the devil. I That's bet he true. can't do it. That's true. His whole life is about being carnal. Yep. There's nothing spiritual about the so-called white man, unless you're th thinking about spiritual on the left hand side. There's nothing uh, spiritual about the, the kingdom we're in. This is all carnal. Everything is like you were saying. It's about fulfilling whatever lust comes to your mind. Go for it. Whether it's eating, 
you go to you go to these spots, you you, you get a, a, a like fast food. They like give you a big two liter something. Dress the speaker, my man. With with French fries. He, he's they're, not, they're greased that you don't know what. what he's not what even man. Enough. That is like burger filled with somewhere. nastiness. Cheese filled with nastiness. The bread's not bread. Like the brother said, he sold that wickedness and now he has to reap. Yeah, you know. That. So there's no way that this kingdom could be righteous. Could be this. Uh, pleasant place for people to be because it was built on wickedness it was it was the root of it is straight wickedness yeah, only, only america would have a restaurant i can't i think it's uh, in vegas where there's they have a burger so big and greasy you have to sign a waiver bypass and, uh, and by, 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 by so you have to sign a waiver to eat the damn burger man and, but if, and for you to go for it like somebody say hey you can eat this, but you gotta sign this first saying I'm not responsible for what's gonna happen to you. Like that. Like, come on. Man. <laughs> only only America would do something like that, man. We got an insurance policy. That's crazy. Man. Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the most high. Right, and that's the so-called white man, because it is pride, man. The most high set, you can saw up. The only sole reason is to put Jake in slavery and put a damn evil to punish his people, man, for going off. But now the so-called white man has in his head that he did this all on his own. And real quick, somebody give me a Psalm 75. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. Right, and he's not gonna seek after the most high, man. Why? Because his pride has in demons and that pride has a so-called white man so puffed up that the most has allowed him to fulfill every wicked desire that he really thinks that he got it on his own. But little does you know it, the most high has a so-called white man in the trick bag right now. Everything that all his wickedness that he's doing, his judgment is gonna be a witness against that, man. To show how not to run a, a, a society. Right. I'm sorry at the top. Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. Mm -hmm. The Most High is not at all in his thoughts. Right, so the Most High is not at all in the so-called white man's thoughts. It's real. The so-called white man thinks he's God. Hey, the brother they always bring out that he has a God complex, man. He really thinks that he, he created everything. And he's really trying to create a synthetic kingdom on the planet Earth, man. He's trying to fulfill everything and sit in the, in the uh, seat of the Most High. But the Most High gave him all this knowledge just for to prove a point and be the, the prophecy, man. To fulfill prophecy. That was it. That's the only purpose for the so-called white man. Other than that, we don't need his pasty ass walking man. We don't need your dusty, decrepit ass women. You know, when you really pay attention to the so-called white man, man, it's like the Most High is bringing them back down to the, the, the old state, man, as he's raising up Jake. That's right. You really start to see that you really better than these motherfuckers, man. His ways are always grievous. And when I say his ways, this is talking about the wicked, like I read it before. His ways are always grievous. And that's the opposite of what the most high's ways are. And I'm gonna get that precept for you. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. Right. As for all his enemies, he puffing at them. Right, yep. he, and he puffing at his enemies right now. He puffing at, he, he really used to puff at them now, but now his ass is getting scared. That's right. Because the weak are saying they're strong right now. But, but in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, 70s, with nobody uh, there to lift up their uh, head against the so-called white man in America, man. But now, the Most High is bringing them down. But and that's but he saw still puffing at his enemies now because he's proud. Exactly. You know he's still doing things, but and he, he's fighting. And he can feel it. They can even though these uh, everyday Joe six packs, they know it's going down. The elites know. That's why they're gearing up because they know they have a short time. That's right. But that pride, they still gonna puff. Yep. That's why they're lying more too, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the brothers send out. Um, they were saying the, the Vatican basically was saying, you know, uh, Jesus ain't coming back. So, you know, y'all keep on believing, but he ain't gonna come back. It's been uh, about 200, 2,000 years, so we just gonna live. Just let's live good, you know. Yeah. Because they know that the judgment is coming, man. Yeah, no, they might as well say, look, we, we used the Bible to, to the best, and we tried it and did as much as we could. Now it's too late. The most high is pouring that truth back into the earth. All right? The, the earth is, is helping the woman, man, like Revelation. So that's, it, that's right. They can't, they can't lie no more. They, they, they just, just got to go in and say, you know what, we got to go hard. 
Yo, yeah, because if I could say this too, just like uh, the Lord uh, hardened Pharaoh's heart when you read Exodus, man, the, the, the most high gonna put the spirit on these elites, man. Even though they know this shit gonna crumble, they gonna go even harder. Yep. Out of they gonna be just uh, just resentful at the most high. That's, that's the second edge of 13. They gonna they gonna be scared, but they gonna still wanna fight. Exactly. You gonna like nah? You gonna you gonna get yeah? You gonna get in that motherfucker. You know. So that's exactly what's gonna happen. This is the modern day Pharaoh. So he and that's what he's doing. He's probably he's probably doing it all the time. You know, them elites be like shit. We need to back up. Go. More promising, you know? That's right, man, bro. Do that. A few more verses since the brother said that. Verse 6. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved. Yup. For I shall never be in adversity. Right. And that's how the so-called white man acts, man. They walk around here with so so damn proud. Like, like can't nothing touch them, man. Yep. That's alright though. That 